Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Mm. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to more Mass Effect. Hill here with Sundarius Shepard on board the Normandy. In our last episode, we completed the Vermeyer mission. And we lost Ashley. Just want to do a little bit of housekeeping here before we get into this episode. Um, I've had to fire NVIDIA for their GeForce Experience, aka Shadow Play. They kept forcing updates of this uh, software, and it would just it would stop working, and then you'd have to update it in order for it to work again. And the updates now are just they don't work. The audio and video is out of sync. The recordings just cut off randomly in, in the middle of nowhere. And I have tried deleting and reinstalling and rolling back the drivers. I've done everything I can. And they are fired. I mean, I really wish that I could have downloaded, you know, the Shadow Play and actually kept the when it was called Shadow Play that long ago because it worked fine. And they just keep trying to improve, I'll put that in quotes improve the software and it it breaks it they break it so i mean i've struggled with this for years because you know certain features would stop working and you know you you would see overlays and things on the screen that you shouldn't and it's all because of these updates that they keep doing so they're fired i've switched to obs um it is incredibly what modular and you know configurable I've I've gone back and forth I'm probably for a week trying to get this um, OBS configured properly but I, I think I finally got it and I mean I like this I like it a lot and probably the thing you'll notice the last episode was um, recorded with OBS the thing you'll probably notice is the darker blacks maybe richer colors maybe a little bit more detail but wow you know, I'm glad I finally got OBS. Glad. That, that, this, OBS was actually my first choice, but I couldn't get it to work years ago because I was having that black screen problem that you may see uh, reported on the internet. And I was never able to get past it. But with this, whatever this latest version of OBS is, I'm, I'm you know, we're cooking with gas, as they say. All right, let's go over here and talk to Caden and see how he's doing after uh, Ashley's death. Anything you need, Commander? I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, sir. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. Oh, of course. Adrenaline. I don't like losing people either, Olenko. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Torfin? We accept death when we put on the uniform, Lieutenant. If you can't deal with that, retire. Mm. I'm in for the duration, Commander. No worries about that. Wow, okay. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. You should be in superstitious awe, according to the Codec. We don't need to appreciate their culture, Olenko. We need to blow them up. Period. Yes, Commander. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? All right. And these should go pretty quickly. I don't think there's anything too new to uncover. Let's make sure that uh, Shepard's love interest is okay. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? 
Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. And Shepard will probably almost always talk to Liara using the Paragonic choices. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Oh, uh, so do I. Uh-uh. No. He's no innocent victim. He was a ruthless bastard long before he fell under Sovereign's control. I know his reputation, but he was a Spectre. I think he honestly believed everything he did was for the greater good. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Okay, so much for me going the Paragonic route with uh, Liara. <laughs> Okay, uh, we will take the middle road, though, here, after I already chose Renegade, but okay, here we go. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Mm, exactly. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Okay, that would be it, then. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Don't make it sound so final, Liara. All right, I don't think Ch Dr. Chocolate yes, has Commander? anything. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Yeah, we're we're good with I her. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. All right. Um, we'll go down here in the hangar. I, I doubt Rex or Garrus has anything, but we'll. We'll talk, because that's what Mass Effect games, Bioware games, are, are all about. Because, seriously, if you miss out on some of these conversations, you're actually missing out on some of the gameplay. Wait. Oh, we did rescue them! Oh, this is Rintola. Oh, but we did lose Kirihi. All right, we saved some of the Salarians. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. Still, I find the loss of Captain Kirahi troubling. So do I. But I won't blame you. You better not. You lost one of your own as well. Chief Williams knew the risks. So did your captain. That doesn't console me. Our unit will feel the loss of the captain in ways that will be impossible to measure. I'm sure. The mission was a success. That will have to be enough. We won't trouble you for long. Our unit will be disbanded as soon as we depart. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Okay, well, at least we saved some of the Salarians. That is really odd that the captain died, but these people survived because normally, if you don't get the probes, drones, whatever those things were, you won't see anybody here. There won't be anybody, but we... I don't know. I guess it's because I destroyed some drones and not all of them. I missed some somewhere. Okay, anyway... That this is good news. I'm, I'm glad to see this. A little bit of consolation. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. Hmm. I should hope so. That's what I expect from all my people. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. Hmm. Oh, he will. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna hunt him down and kill him. Hmm. I like the sound of that. Alright, I think we have... Exhausted all so of those long, conversation options with Rex. Okay. Sure. Alright, and here, Ashley, gone. Here's her area. Alright, let's go talk to Garrus. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought about what you said, about eliminating the threat immediately, regardless of the cost. You were right. You were right about Dr. Salian, too. Killing him was the only solution. This way, we'll know he'll never hurt anyone again. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. All right. 
and I'm hoping the video is not too dark uh, for YouTube and if it is I may have to you know change the that color palette option that's in OBS for the, the richer colors and then have it go back to the way it was kind of looking in um, the GeForce experience but we'll see I know the ship is very dark hopefully the other parts of the game won't be as dark all right tally hey Shepard do you need something I think we're done with tally I should go see you later all right so that concludes all of our chatting with the crew so it's time to get out of here and it's odd I remember from playing this before there used to be um, that sad music that would just play after um, the Vermeer thing. It would play in the background instead of this Normandy theme song until you went on and you know did another mission. I don't know why that's changed. Because I would load up the game, you know, after Vermeer, and you would hear that that sad music. Okay can finally get back to the CIC and the galaxy map. It seems like it's been ages. All right, let's look at our journal first before we do anything else. All right, so for the main story, this is it. We only have this one mission, Race Against Time Sovereign. We have to go back to the Citadel and talk to the council. But we have some other side missions here. As we were headed to Vermeer. Oh my goodness. I am still having trouble remembering Admiral. The Admiral that contacted us. Hack it. Oh, it says it right here on the screen. <laughs> okay. Yes, as we were headed to Vermeer, Admiral... You guys didn't hear that. Anyhow, Admiral Hackett um, asked you to negotiate a treaty with a man named Darius in the Plutus system. System. Yes, it does say that. The treaty concerns mining rights on asteroid rich in element zero. On an asteroid, okay. You are authorized to make any financial or diplomatic concessions necessary to secure mining rights to the asteroid. All right, meet Darius. All right, so we are going to the rendezvous point on the planet Nanuel in the Plutus system of the Hades Gamma Cluster. All right, that is what we're doing next. Because let, let's check out something else here. Where are we in leveling? All right, level, wow, 59. But we have a long way to go to get to 60. So let's go ahead. Because this is, this is kind of dangerous that we may not make it to 60. After all the, the modifications I did to the experience on the Mako, it may not have been enough. But hopefully getting through the, you know, the final mission and all that stuff, we will make it there. But, you know, we still have uh, hundreds of thousands, several hundreds of thousands of uh, experience points needed. All right, we're doing good on Renegade. Bar almost full. Um... And Paragon halfway. Wow. For a renegade player, that, that's kind of disappointing. But, you know, it, it just it speaks to, you know, who you are as a person when you play the game. It's like you can't always make these renegade decisions. I mean, you know, because some of us have, have a heart and we just can't do everything. Just, just completely, I don't want to use the word evil, but but insensitively. You just can't always be insensitive. Okay. Enough of that. Let's head to I forwarded Hades the mission Gamma. update to the Citadel, uh -oh. Commander. Uh -oh. Got confirmation on those reinforcements. Uh -oh. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Uh-oh. I think this might be one of those Mass Effect moments where we don't have any choice. But to do... What the game wants us to do. All right, well, let's. We're gonna go back then to the Citadel, and hopefully, before we embark on the final mission, we can try to knock out the side mission here. We'll see. Took them long enough. 
Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Okay, well, we're gonna get some cutscenes now. It's like I've run out of time. Here we are, back at the Citadel after what seems like months. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I have to agree. That's it? You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mu Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Hmm. What about the Reapers? Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Okay, well, what about the Conduit? Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. Uh-oh. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nobody stabs me in the back, Odina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Of course. Commander, Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me. But they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal, and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? Oh, wow, Liara, really? When you put it that way... <laughs> Um, wow. Hmm. We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Mm. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Yeah, 
I didn't want to say anything during this tender moment. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Okay, um, I'm taking Liara. And Caden. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior oh, I atmosphere. I got two Renegade? Okay. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Well, all right, folks. In our next episode, we will go and speak with Commander Anderson. And we will resume more of the Mass Effect. We are really getting close to the end. Uh, my, my goal here is once we leave the Citadel, hopefully we can go and confront this Darius person, this side mission. I think there may be a couple of other things we, we can discover as well before we head to Ilos. But we're getting really close. So this is Hill. And I'm out. <laughs>